1960, Alfred Hitchcock created a film that is perhaps the most terrifying thriller of all time. Psycho. Now, come answers to the questions audiences have been asking for over 30 years. Psycho 4, The Beginning. All who come to this happy place, welcome. The first movie ever to be shot at Universal Studios Florida was Psycho 4 The Beginning, a made-for-TV sequel prequel that premiered on cable TV in November 1990. Universal Studios Florida first opened their doors on June 7th of that year, so if you were an early visitor to the park, you may have been lucky enough to catch a glimpse of this movie being made. The Bates Motel set remained intact for approximately eight years in the Expo Center area, back behind E.T. Adventure and the Animal Actors stage. Unfortunately, the set was demolished in 1998 to make room for the Curious George Goes to Town water park. Being a fan of horror movies and especially Psycho, this is the one thing I miss the most about the old theme park. Granted you couldn't actually walk up to the house and could only view it from a distance, however this Bates Motel movie set was part of the Psycho legacy and it was sad to see it destroyed for an attraction like Curious George Water Park. The Bates Motel movie set wasn't the only Alfred Hitchcock themed attraction at Universal Studios Florida. Alfred Hitchcock the Art of Making Movies was the ultimate tribute to the legendary movie maker. Located near the park entrance and also close to the old Nickelodeon Studios. Alfred Hitchcock, The Art of Making Movies was a part 3D movie show as well as a part live action show at Universal Studios Florida. This attraction was one of the theme park's original attractions. It was used to commemorate Hitchcock's 43-year association with Universal Studios. The attraction featured attacks from birds similar to Hitchcock's movie The Birds in the pre-show area. It also featured the shower scene from Psycho in the main show with narration by Anthony Perkins who played the part of Norman Bates in Psycho. This attraction closed its doors on January the 3rd, 2003 and was replaced by Shrek 4D in mid-2003. The queue area. As the guests are waiting outside the building, they see movie posters of Hitchcock's movies, including Rear Window, The Birds, Vertigo, Rope and Psycho. The guests then enter the building and they see a large collage of props from Hitchcock's movies, including a flock of crows from the birds and a black telephone from Dial M for murder. The pre-show begins with a scene from The Wrong Man, where Alfred Hitchcock tells the audience that his new movie is very extraordinary. It leads to a montage of clips from movies including Rear Window, The Man Who Knew Too Much, Vertigo and Frenzy. The movie ends with a scene from Dial M for Murder in 3D that is interrupted by a swarm of attacking crows and seagulls from the birds. One of these crows morphs into a silhouette of Alfred Hitchcock. After the pre-show movie ends, guests enter the main theater, which consists of the set of the original Bates Motel, the house of Norman Bates. Anthony Perkins, the actor who played Norman Bates, narrates on how Hitchcock made Psycho the most frightening movie in cinematic history. 
He also explains about the camera techniques that were used in the shower scene. Then clips from that shower scene are shown. After the main show, guests were shown into the post-show area of the attraction, which was an interactive area where you could reenact scenes from Saboteur, Stranger on the Train and Rear Window. And then finally, as guests leave the attraction, they enter the gift shop where you could purchase Hitchcock gifts and souvenirs. Hitch made a cameo appearance, one way or the other, in every film he made for 50 years. An extra body was needed. No extra body was in sight. So the director filled the space. It was his first cameo. He put one in virtually every film he made. And then the cameos grew from being a superstition to becoming a delicious private joke between the director and the audience. They wondered how Hitch would do it every time. When he announced he was making Lifeboat, everybody wondered how Hitch could possibly make his cameo appearance there. The here about some people that were adrift on a lifeboat for 80 days. His last appearance was in Family Plot. A shadow on a window. And then he's gone. Gone except for the screen. He left us his movies and himself five seconds at a time. I should like to address my next remarks to those of you who are watching the show in the year 2000. Please write in at once and tell us what life is like. I'm quite curious. And now, come with me as I invite you to view footage I recorded when I first visited this classic attraction in 1993. <laughs> Hello, 
the Jimmy Stewart. showed up in a wheelchair and promptly popped out of it. His last appearance was watching the show in the year 2000. Please write in at once and tell us what life is like. I'm quite curious. Until next week, good night.